Spent about 17 years in education. And what became clear to me as I traveled across the country, and in some cases across the world, that not all students have an equal opportunity at great teaching and learning, which is why we came about with Sway 360, really on a mission of providing equitable access to great teaching and learning for all students anywhere, regardless of their background. As we're visiting with superintendents and district leaders across the United States, we're hearing some of the same challenges. The main challenge is always student achievement. In recent years, scores in both language arts and math have dropped. So it remains the top priority and superintendents and district leaders are really trying to focus in on how they can increase that student achievement. There are many software programs out there to support student learning, student achievement. That's the goal of EdTech companies, to provide products that students will use. But what we're finding is often districts don't really know if that software is being used, if they're getting their return on investment, Two, if they're getting that return on academics, are students using the program and is it helping their academic progress? At Sway360, we collect and aggregate data so that they can determine which program is the most impactful for students. Not only does this allow them to choose the best program for students, but it allows us to take things off the plates of teachers who feel overwhelmed. Teachers now feel comfortable knowing that they're using the programs that are having the greatest impact on student achievement. All students have access to technology for instruction. Can you imagine the amount of data that's on those devices? To really help drive instruction, we can learn so much from that in terms of how they are learning, and identify their interests. To help you reach your goals with Sway360, we've intentionally designed a multi-year professional development plan. That professional development plan includes three phases with a focus for each phase and professional learning goals. In phase one, we're gonna really focus on aligning your educational technology usage with your expectations for those usage. The second thing we're gonna do is really look at that data to identify whether you're getting return on academics with that educational software. And we're going to strategize how we can maximize both the return on investment and the return on academics. In phase two, we're gonna focus in on personalizing blended learning. We're gonna look at the what and why of blended learning, and we're going to unpack the different models and strategies. We're gonna use Sway360 data to drive and inform those models and strategies to ensure that we're maximizing the technology usage while using routines and systems within the classroom to meet students' individual needs and personalize those learning experiences with those technology tools. We have arrived at phase three. In this phase, we're gonna dive into what is Universal Design for Learning or UDL and really look at those specific guidelines and how to use Sway360 data to drive and inform the implementation of those guidelines to meet the diverse needs of students in the classroom today. I value the opportunity that I get to work alongside district and campus leaders to help them do that software assessment to see, well, what software are we using? What software do we not know students are using that may be a redundant program from what we already paid for. But more than that, how can we help support the classroom teacher with using that program for the students with fidelity so they can get the academic outcomes they desire? And at Sway360, we give districts comprehensive data so that they are able to make the best decisions for the district and more importantly for students. We look at some of the examples and the stories that we have within our organization where a district was able to identify a pool of students that had a strong interest in computer science. I think about those group of students, and I think about the track that they are on now in computer science, and I think about the jobs of the future, the jobs that they will have access to now, that they will be able to bring back to their families and make an impact in their local economy. Those kids' lives will never be the same again. They'll be able to change the trajectory financially for their families. Then for those students that are struggling with learning, I want you to think about IEPs, personalized learning. How can we leverage the power of technology to drive specific learning outcomes for specific students based on where they are? Instead of us just trying to really use anecdotal feedback, but really leverage the power of technology to drive learning outcomes. We believe at Sway360 that technology in the hands of great teachers 
can be transformational. But we believe first instruction is the most important thing to really help drive learning outcomes.